How's it going there, guys? Welcome to the Weeb Lounge. This is a character spotlight on Kurumi, the stage edition. As in, get the hell off it. Hey, while she's on stage, she'll break a leg. Hopefully, literally. Okay, guys, it's probably no surprise that I do not like crybaby characters. This is a crybaby character. The character herself, I don't like. I hate it. It's bad, okay? And the popularity is of this character, why are they doing anything with this character? Okay, I've mentioned this a few times. If you want to gauge the popularity of the char of a character, go on Google, go on Bing, go on DuckDuckGo or whatever the heck. Look it up, do an image search or whatever, and see what you can find in terms of fan art or other more things, right? I can't find nothing on her. There's like one bored person who made a profile. This thing. This. Credit me where credit due, whoever the hell made that or whatever. It's the only one in existence for fan art. There. Nobody likes this character. Stop making crap for her. Unfortunately, that doesn't mean it's a crap character. In terms of usage all right we'll go ahead and get to that oh, they could have really used time and effort time and effort put it towards the character we like you know another carol put another carol out there so makoto another makoto version that'd be great okay now that my rant's over with skill number one the tiny cheer because she doesn't know how to use her freaking voice other than to cry uh, gives herself a small technique point boost and also gives all allies a small heal over time and technique points over time buff But only to people who make physical attacks. So right then and there. She's only going in physical comps. So you already know you already know Skill number two the protect bell. There's not a bell involved. There's no bell involved. She doesn't have a bell anymore Is that a bell? Let me look and see is that a bell? There's bells on it. Who cares? It, it, it's groovy. It's Nobody cares Skill number two, Protect Bell, gives all allies that make physical attacks a physical damage absorb barrier, a physical attack power buff, and the higher Kurumi's hit points are, the more damage the barrier can absorb and the more physical attack power they'll get. So, she only goes in physical groups. Thought I broke my finger for a second. And you have to keep her healed for her to be effective. And that's going to be even more important the further I go here. EX skill, and it is what it is. Okay. EX skill increased physical attack power. We happen to have her at five stars. And at this point, when they're giving you 200 shards, why not? She just do it anymore. I mean, it's Kurumi. I don't want to take her to five star. I don't want to waste resources, but she's already there, so why not? Five stars greatly increases physical attack power. Do you have to do it with this character? Probably not. She's not attacking nothing. It's just buffs, but there might be a thing with the hit point ratio or something. So maybe you got it. There probably is. There always is. It's a hidden thing. Oh, Union, Union Burst, Blooming Spotlight. Well, that spotlight's like really freaking hot. Increases the physical attack power of all allies that only make physical attacks. The more hit points she has, the greater the buff will be. And the buff, when she's max hit points, all the crazy or whatever, I think she can actually give everybody about 7,500 attack power, which is nothing to laugh at. That's pretty decent. And that, combined with her other stuff, I'll go into. But right now, let's throw her into combat and hope she falls off the stage. Unfortunately, she won't. It's, it's not a thing. I, I had to go to like 7-3 just so she could get through one at some point. She has like one basic attack. That's all she got. It's, maybe it's not her fault. It's the people that design her or something. Well, it's a support character. What do you expect? Okay. Aside from me absolutely hating this... Why ba whiny ba whiny baby? It's a whiny baby. Look at me, I'm a whiny baby. Okay. The crybaby characters, I, I had to take my glasses off. Uh, it feels like I got something in my eye. Just keep looking at uh, Kurumi or something. There's something in my eye. It's... Listen. Okay. I'm going to turn this on uh, fast speed here. Tell me that when she th does the union burst... When they, she does the universe, there's like a fart or somebody throwing something at her on stage. Just listen for it, okay? Over my voice, which is probably not hard. Okay. Now, this character is a double S tier support character for physical cops, as long as you can keep her healed. Okay? And that's it. You know, it's a good character to have in your cop. I don't like the character itself, but that's beside the point. Okay, well, let's slow this down a little bit, just because 
whatever. You know, I might run out of time or something. Good and physical comps, and here's the thing, though. Okay, unless that physical barrier is something you really need, is something that comes in handy in whatever fight there is, and I'm sure there's going to be plenty of fights, you know, boss battles, whatever. That's pretty much where she, you're only going to put her is in those boss battles again. Uh, she can really come in handy with that barrier. The barrier can absorb a pretty good amount of damage. There's nothing to laugh at. It's pretty good. I like it. And the TP hit point, a uh, little tiny heal or whatever, the technique point, a little boost over time. All that works out pretty good. But the thing is, if you don't need that barrier in particular, there's other options that are actually better. These close to running out of time you better swing your stupid bell handle whatever delphine thing that is i don't know there's a different thing i was going to say like share subscribe hit that notification button guys if you haven't guessed this character annoys the hell out of me she really does she showed up in the anime and i was like did she you know she's not a memorable character she was in the season two right at some point she was hiding behind somebody who was she hiding behind her and some I can't remember. I don't like this character. I don't want to remember this character. It just is what it is. But in terms of comps and everything, it's a good character to get. But yeah, like I said, it boils down to that physical barrier. If you don't need that extra bit of protection, that extra bit of health, maybe even that little tiny bit of uh, technique points that she's generating for you, there's other characters that can give better buffs overall. Less protection, but more and better buffs. So, that really depends, you know, what characters do you have now? You know, if you're a whale and you get everything, who cares, right? You got the things. But if you're trying to be really selective on what to get, you know, like grab a uni, a labby, you know, something like that. You know, freebie lab labby. I mean, I haven't done a comparison or nothing, but that freebie labby that we got not long ago might be better. The, what, what is it, ninja ninon, ha Halloween ninon, or whatever, she might be better for physical groups. It, it, it just... She's she's here. She's here. And look at the pose. I just noticed it's the pose and the thing or whatever. You, you can't even do more fan art. You got the fan art. It's the same damn pose. I see her with her mouth open like she's going she's going to eat that rose because people don't want to feed her. Uh, I'd rather be like uh, doing a, a thing on Ayane with Pachiki or what? Because at least I can be entertained with that. This character is so dull and whiny. I don't care. Oh, but should you care to roll on her? Not a bad character to get for your comps. There. I'll leave it at that. Instead of tearing into her somewhere. Catch you all in the next video.